Hey folks and welcome to today's video with myself, Sarah Lean. What I want to show you is how to use the Git Kraken client to clone a repository from a remote location to your actual local machine. So here I am inside my Git Kraken client and this is the first screen you get when you open up Git Kraken. Now as you can see we have a box here that says clone a repo so we're going to click on that. Now here it gives you a bunch of options to do some repository management. So you can see you can clone a repository from a URL, from GitHub, from GitLab, Bitbucket and even Azure DevOps. I'm going to show you two ways that I use um, repeatedly. So I'm going to show you how I clone with a URL and how I clone directly from GitHub as well. So inside this clone a repo with a URL option, we've got a couple of boxes. So we want to specify where we want to clone it to. So I've set it to my default location for all of my um, GitHub files. And then I need to use a URL. So what I want to do is switch over to a GitHub repository. So here I am inside a GitHub repository that I want to clone a copy of to my local machine. So if I click on code, and then grab this URL here, this HTTPS address and copy it. We then want to take it back to our Git, um, Git Kraken client. So I paste that URL here and I can modify the full path name, but I'm just going to keep it to the GitHub um, repository name because that's the way I work, but you can obviously change it depending on how you want to work. And then I click on clone the repo. Now, depending on the size of the repository and the speed of your connection, it may take a few minutes or it may be instantaneous to do this cloning. We can then open um, this repository and have a look at the history of it, some of the pull requests, history, the commits, what's happened, version numbers, etc. And then we can start to interact with it and do what we need to with this repository. Now, what about if I wanted to clone an existing repository inside my GitHub account? If I click on file, I can see that I can clone a repo from this menu by clicking here, or I could use the shortcut control N, but we're going to use the menu today. So we'll click on that and we get this dialog box back up. This time I want to hit github.com. And again, I'm going to leave the clone path to D and then GitHub. And then I'm going to search the remotes that I have attached to my account or I have access to already inside GitHub. So if we scroll down, I'm going to pick one. Um, let's do the Azure family one. So again, it's giving me the option to change the file path, but I'm going to just clone the repository here. So again, I've now got this clone to my local repository, a eh, local, local machine, sorry. And if I click on open now, I can see the various different history, the changes, I can, and I, I can interact with the files on my local machine from there. So yeah, hopefully this video has been useful folks and given you a little insight into how you, you can use the Git Kraken client to clone repositories to your local machine. Hopefully catch you in another vo video folks. Thanks for watching.